Hi, my name is Michael Denton. I'm the Product Manager for Dynamic Signal Acquisition, or the DSA products at National Instruments. Today I'll be talking about the flexibility of the DSA product line. If you look over here, I have a 4461, and that module has got two analog inputs and two analog outputs, and is often used for lab tests. I also have a PXI4499. This module gives us up to 16 channels of analog input and can give you huge systems in the field. The devices allow you to have the flexibility for either lab test or high channel count applications. In the case of a lab audio verification system, you're going to do a stimulus and a response of some sort and measure distortion, dynamic range, very common measurements. In this case, I'll be demonstrating the measurements you would normally do on the analog output of the 4461. You can see that I've attached the 4461 analog output to the analog input. So the input will be testing the output capabilities of this device. And if we go to the software, you can see that I have a time domain signal. I'm generating a sine wave. It's a one volt sine wave. And you can see the spectrum here below. This is allowing me to take metrics like fundamentals, dynamic range, THD plus N, and you can actually see some of the harmonics that I'm analyzing as well. These metrics are typically used for verification tests in labs, as well as final production line tests. The PXI4461 used in this demonstration does provide the best signal generation tool for doing this kind of audio verification test. In addition to good lab work, the PXI DSA boards give you the flexibility to create high channel count systems. You can imagine if you put 18 of these high channel count 16 boards into one DSA chassis, they'll have over 270 channels. NI has actually done multi-chassis systems in numerous aerospace and industrial applications with over 800 channels being used. When you do high channel count systems, synchronization is very important. And NI's PXI platform allows us to deliver under 0.1 degrees of phase separation, which is an industry best. When you do these high channel count measurements, or really any dynamic signal acquisition, you also have to be able to customize the data with signal processing to actually verify what you want to find out. And in this case, LabVIEW is going to be the tool we're going to demonstrate with and I'll be working on a drill here and measuring both vibration and sound pressure level with a, an accelerometer and a microphone. If we look at the system, I have a drill, and on the drill I have attached a triaxial accelerometer. And this is going to measure the vibration in all three directions and really give a simulation of what a human would feel as they shake with the drill. I also have the microphone that's acquiring sound pressure and is going to tell us if it's unsafe and too loud to run the drill continuously for a human ear. Uh, the DSA boards provide all the signal conditioning necessary to acquire data from both of these sensors. If we look at the software that will be used here, you can see that I'm acquiring a graph of the octave data for the vibration. This lets me see what frequencies have the most vibration being created. I also am measuring the overall vibration level to verify that there are no problems with the machine in a fundamental sense. And then finally, I'm doing sound pressure, and that's going to let me see if my ears will get damaged as it rises. You can see I've set a limit on the sound pressure. If I actually go ahead and pull the drill trigger and turn it on, you're able to see that the sound pressure level rises, as well as the vibration levels at certain frequencies. And this is to be expected. This kind of testing will often let you verify if a drill or other power tool is safe to use in the long term. In conclusion, the DSA platform provides you the ability to customize the measurements and has the flexibility for whatever 24-bit data acquisition you need to do.